Will you keep keep this behind so that I'll keep my bag here? नहीं है अच्छा Jia and Jagdan have not come. Okay. So we'll start with uh, Julius Caesar. Okay. How much have they finished in your school? Akron Caesar. Akron Caesar is done. That's it. Great. So we'll start. So it will be easy for us when we do that. Uh, Do you follow? Which? I have a great publishers. Okay. Oh. Well, you have one instance. Um, let's start with Act 1, Scene 1. So, have you heard about uh, Julius Caesar? Ever? Never. Have you heard about Shakespeare? Yes. Okay. Tell me what have you heard about Shakespeare? What's that? You know the hyphen act. Okay. So you got great audience. He created poems. Oh, yeah. He composed poems. He wrote plays. Um, he wrote novels. So he was a playwright. And uh, the most popular, you can say, author in English literature. Something that he has written in uh, 1400, and we are still after studying it. How many? 700 years after? He has composed, written it, and we still find it relevant and we still find it interesting. Now, why was he so popular? No idea. No idea. Why was he so popular? It was. Well created and people liked it. Okay, it was well created and people liked it, but obvious. Um, okay, tell me what was so special about Mona Lisa? This is all, these are all more or less contemporaries, you can say. What was so great about Mona Lisa? It had uh, taken days to make it. Okay, it took many days to make it. But the many paintings take many days to make it. How do you know it took a lot of days to make it? Well, it was finally created in every stroke of brush. It was uh, created in a very fine, with a very fine stroke of brush. I think there are many masterpieces, such masterpieces. It was created with my hey, little sister. She's coming. We were discussing what is so special about Shakespeare. What, and to understand that, 
Any idea what is so special about it? He will be studying the entire act by book by Shakespeare. So we need to know what is so special about Shakespeare. Why was he so popular? Why is he so popular? Right. Have you heard about Renaissance? Have you studied about Renaissance? Renaissance. 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 Reformation, Renaissance. Okay. Fine. Uh, you know why Mona is so, so popular? Not because it's a very beautiful painting or it's painted with a fine brush. There are far more finer, uh, better paintings than Mona Lisa, probably. Uh, the thing is, Mona Lisa is the first human painting done in the history of Europe. Okay, in Europe that time, you were not allowed to paint anything other than the biblical stories, the stories of Bible. And religious paintings. So people were only allowed to do religious paintings. And that's when Leonardo da Vinci said, I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. And he said, I will paint a common women. So that was revolutionary in those times to paint a common woman. An ordinary common woman was not, pictures were not painted of common people. Pictures were only made about stories from Bible and the characters from Bible. Same way, the plays in those days were only the, the plays which had a biblical theme. The plays were all religious in nature. So only those plays, stories, which were related to religion and Bible were played. And he was the first one who said, I don't want to do that. That is boring. How long people will watch only the biblical stories and listen to biblical stories? He was the first one who introduced common people as main characters. And he talked about these human, common human feelings like jealousy, anger, love, hatred in his play. So therefore, Romeo and Juliet, the famous love story, or, uh, you know, the Merchant of Venice and uh, another you know, something that relates to hatred and anger and jealousy. And we have here Julius Caesar. Is this the historical play? Yes, he is a historical figure, but we are not sure whether everything that he has written has historical value. Okay, so don't see it as a historical value. The figure is Julius Caesar was a historical figure, but the entire play is his own. Okay. Who was Julius Caesar? Have they started in school? Julius Caesar? Act 1, scene 1 done. Act 1, scene 2 is also done. No. He was in He was a great commander. Okay. He was a great commander of the Roman army. Now, uh, he had not yet become a dictator. Rome in those days had a king and there, were, there was a senate. Senate was like what we have our own parliament. People used to elect their representatives and they had a senate. And these senators were expected to rule uh, and fulfill people's wishes. Help people. He was, so there were these commanders and uh, other officials in the Senate. He was also one of the important officers in the Senate. He was also a great commander of the army. And uh, there were three such people um, in Rome. One person, he died, and then the Next two, the two very strong commanders and the senators of, or the members of Senate of Rome were Julius Caesar and Pompey. So Julius Caesar and Pompey, these two were the very, very strong leaders. 
Julius Caesar was extremely popular among people. Even Pompey was very, very popular among people. It so happened that when there are two very strong figures, actually there are some differences. So it so started, it started happening that uh, there were some disagreements between them. So Pompey was also very strong. Julius Caesar was also very strong. And uh, very soon, uh, they started having arguments and there were differences. If Julius Caesar said, you know, the usual. So then Pompey was very angry with Julius Caesar. And the differences reached to such an extent that instead of solving the fights in the Senate itself, there was a civil war. The differences between them led to a civil war. Now, what is a civil war? What's the difference between war and a civil war? War happens between the states. In the sense? So it is not from any outside of country. It is within the country. So war is within the country. And civil war? No, no, no. Civil war within the country. Okay. Civil war within the country. War is when you fight a battle with some other country. Civil war is when there is war within the country. When people of the same country fight among themselves. So what happened here? Rome, the people were divided. Some were Caesar supporters. Some became Pompey supporters. And they, were, they started fighting. There was a proper war fought in Rome. It was a civil war. That means the Romans were fighting among themselves, fighting against each other. And in that battle, Julius Caesar managed to kill Pompey. Julius Caesar managed to kill Pompey's sons. And now he was victorious and he came back. See, people, people are people are least bothered. They like to worship heroes. When Pompey was there, people used to worship Pompey. They used to were a great fans of Pompey along with Caesar. Now Caesar managed to defeat Pompey. They are great fans of Caesar. They are celebrating Pompey's death also. Okay. So first scene of this book opens with the celebration. People are thrilled. There were Caesar supporters and there are many other people who are thrilled that Caesar has won the war. And he's come back as victorious. And they have all come out on the streets to celebrate this, his victory. And uh, so first scene opens with these people, though it's not a holiday, they are all well-dressed. They have taken a leave from their job, work. They are not working. They are all on streets. They have come to see Caesar and said, be part of the part of Caesar's victory. Okay. So, let's read. Uh, I'll read the introduction and then we we'll have one character. Each one of you can be one character. Are you awake or are you still sleepy? Had nice lunch? What did you have today? He has to think. Maggie! Maggie was your lunch today? Yeah. Okay. What did you have? Yeah. Amras. Amras Chapati. Okay. That is my favorite. Nothing. You got up now or what? Then how can you not eat anything? Now I'm you... not hungry. Huh? I'm not hungry. You were not hungry. So you did not eat anything. Won't you be hungry? By six of by six? Great. You also ate Maggie. Yes or no? Okay. And you are full with Maggie. Okay. Act one, scene one. Shakespeare's opening scenes are masterpieces. This scene shows the popularity of Caesar and the jealousy of the tribute. The fickle mob plays a major role in the play. The scene opens in the streets of Rome. The workmen are rejoicing in Caesar's triumph over the sons of his old rival Pompey. The tribunes rebuke them 
order them to return to their work. They drive the crowd off the street and set around about removing all the street decorations so that Sita's procession will seem a failure. Okay, fine. So you have a different book. Uh, other dialogues will be seen. Only the first introduction is slightly different. Scene one, Rome a street, enters Flavius, Marilus, and certain citizens. Okay. So one of you can be Flavius. Flavius, will you be first citizen? Are you be first citizen? You be Marilus. You be second citizen. Okay. Who are Flavius and Marilus? Clavius and Marilus are members of the Senate. Okay. And so, you idle creatures, get your home. Is this a holiday? What? Do you not? Do you not? Do you mechanical? Mechanical. Mechanical. You both not walk upon a laboring day without the sun. Of you, profession, speak what you trade what trade are you. Thou? thou is your. Thou also depends on how it is used. It is you or your. Okay, now he says, Flavius, he says, Whom you idle creatures? Idle creatures are what, what is idle creatures? Citizens. Citizens, just citizens who are called idle uh, creatures. Why are the citizens called idle creatures? Because they are not working. Instead of working, they are on the road. Kuch kaam nahi hai. As the way we say, no, you idle creatures. Uh, ke log. That's how he is addressing to them. You idle creatures, get your home. Is this a holiday? No, you not being mechanical. You ought, this, is, this is a day of work. So instead of working, being mechanical means being working. So he says, instead of working, why are you walking on the street? You're walking on the street without any sign of your profession. If you are outside, you should be going to work. But I don't see any sign of your profession. And we, so he calls, catch, catches hold of one person and asks, what is, what is your work? What trade art thou? What trade year means? What is your occupation? What work do you do? What does the first say? Says? Why, sir, a carpenter. Why, sir, a carpenter. The first citizen was a carpenter. Where is the... the where is thy... Where is thy leather upon? Apron. Apron. And they... Thy room. Thy room. What? Do so first. So what does? That means does. What those do with their best apparel on? You, sir, what trade are you? The first citizen says, I'm a carpenter. So you're a carpenter. Then where is your leather apron and rule? Rule means the ruler, the, the long ruler that the carpenter carries. In those days, they used to wear a leather apron. Because if you're a carpenter, where is your leather apron and your ruler? Why are you in your best apparel? Why are you in your best clothes walking on the street? Then he asks the other person. What does the second citizen say? Truly, sir, in respect of a kind woman, and I am but as you would say for me. Okay, so he says, uh, I am truly with respect, I'm a cobbler. Now, the fun part here is cobbler has two meanings. One is the, what person, is, the person who makes shoes, and the other one, cobbler, is the one who cobbles, or that means who. Steals. Okay, somebody who steals is also called a cobbler. I am just a cobbler. So, this is as the imagine there are this, this big, huge crowd on the road, and there are these two men walking in the walking ahead, and there are many people who are following them. And one person says, I'm a carpenter, other person says, I'm just a cobbler, sir. So he doesn't get it. Because in a crowd, there are different kind of people. Hmm. But what trade are those? 
So he doesn't get it. The Maryland doesn't get. He says, "Yeah, but what is your occupation?" Now here he is trying to play with words. He says, "I follow a profession which I can practice with a clean conscience." I am a mender of souls. Now you heard the word soul again has double meaning. S O L E soul means the soul of a shoe, and S O U L soul is your own soul. He says the way he is talking. You no, know, I am. I follow my profession with pure conscience. I am a mender of souls. So as if बहुत कुछ बड़ा काम करने वाला ये यू नो आदमी है. What trade thou know? Go naughty no. Nail naughty nail. Naughty nail. What trade? So he says, what trade? You naughty nail. You know, uh, good for nothing. Naughty here means you good for nothing, idiot. You know that's how he's talking to them. Me and me say to you, sir, be not out with me. Yet if you be out, sir, I can mend you. So he says, me, I beseech you, I request you. To beseech means to request. I request you, don't be upset with me. If you are, uh, you know, don't get angry with me. If you, yet if you be out, sir, I can mend you. But अगर कुछ गलत हो रहा है तो मैं आपको भी सीधा कर सकता हूँ. That is what he is saying. Okay, that is how he is talking. What he actually means is, he is saying, "I'm I'll mend your shoes." But instead of saying, giving a straight answer, वो double meaning use कर रहा है. I will mend you. मैं आपको भी ठीक कर सकता हूँ. Okay, that way. What mean is that? Why that? Mend me, dog. Sorry, fellow. Disrespectful fellow, saucy fellow, you disrespectful fellow. You are saying you will mend me. Yes. I will cobble you. So he says, no, I will cobble you. Cobble you means I'll cheat you. But here also means I will mend your shoes. Flavius. Thou art a cobbler, art thou? Flavius understands. He is a little more sensible. He says, "Do you mean you are a cobbler? Is your profession? Are you cobbler by profession?" Truly, sir, all that I live by is with the cord. I meddle with no trade, not tradesmen's matter, nor women's matter. But with the iron inmates of the soldier to old shoes when they are in great danger, I recover them. As proper men is ever drawn upon means, leather have gone upon my handiwork. Okay, you don't have this part. Turn the page. Truly, sir, all that I have. Yes. That is the translation of this side. Is the translation of what is written on this side. So he says, second citizen says, truly, sir, I live by all I that I live by is with the all. What is all? A W L. All is. Have you signed on this? I told you to mend your shoes. Yes. Have you gone to a cobbler ever? जो रास्ते में बैठता है, उसके पास there is something like a screwdriver, a small thing. That's an all. <clears throat> Okay, so every cobbler has this all. He says, "I only work with my all. I'm a very, very straightforward person. I don't meddle with any other person's matter, with no tradesman's matter, nor woman's matter. Now, me, kisi aurat ki matter me jata ho. Now, me kisi aur ki matter me jata ho. I don't meddle with anyone." I do my own work. I'm a, I'm indeed, sir, a surgeon of old shoes. I'm like a doctor of old shoes. 
and he says, as proper men as ever trod upon, all these people, all these great people who have ever worn the shoes have worn my handiwork. जो भी यहाँ पे है जिन्होंने यहाँ पे शूज पहन के जो भी बड़े बड़े लोग चले वो सारे मेरे शूज पहन के चले सो ही इज ट्राइंग टू टेल हाउ ग्रेट हिज वर्क इज हाउ ग्रेट इज दिस इज ऑल दीज पीपल ऑल दीज ग्रेट पीपल हु हैव वर्कड ऑन दिस स्ट्रीट हैव यूजिंग माई हैंडी वर्क बट वेर फॉर आर नॉट इन दॉप टूडे Why does thou let these men about the street? So why are you not in your shop today? Why are you leading these people? Why, why? So, what is the answer? She will be sir to wear out to their shoes to their nice and little move up. But in in the sir we need holiday to see Casey, <laughs> see the see the and to rejoice in his triumph. See the second citizen is a funny man. He says. Truly, sir, I'm leading them so that their shoes get worn out. To wear out their shoes so that I'll get more work. If their shoes are getting too worn out, then I'll get more work. So I'm leading them. I'm making them walk on the street so that their shoes get spoiled, so that their shoes get wear out, get worn out, and I get more work. And then it says, "But indeed, sir, why are they on the street?" So, but truly, but the in real reason. The real reason we make a holiday. Why have they made a holiday? To see Caesar. To see Caesar and to rejoice in his triumph. Wherefore, he does what conquer brings conquest. conquest brings him home. What tributaries follow him to home, Rome, to place in capital bonds and his chariot wheels to blocks, to stones, to worse than senseless things. Wait, wait. Malinda says, "Why are you rejoicing? What conquest brings you home? कौन सी बड़ी conquest कर क्या आया हो? No, what conquest? What victory has he come brought home? What huge wealth has he brought home? What tributaries follow him to Rome? You know which land has he accessed? What wealth has he brought to home?" To grace in captive bonds is chariot wheels, which people have been brought to Rome as captives, as slaves, dragged by his chariot. You blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. You people are senseless. What are you rejoicing about? Go ahead. Oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Rome, you do not Pompey. Knew you not Pompey? He says you cruel people. Didn't you know who Pompey was? Many a time and a oft have you climbed up to walls and battlements, to towers and windows, yet yeah, to ch uh, chimney tops, your infants in your arms, and they then have sat the long long day with patience, expectations to see great Pompey pass the streets of Rome, and when you saw his chariot. But up here, have you not made an universal shock? The God that tribute that timber that timber trembles underneath the the bars. Her bars to hear the replication of your sounds made in her concave shoes. And do you not put on your best at his attire? Attire. And do you not pull? Do you now call out the holiday? And do you now street flowers in his way that break comes in trim triumphs and over Pompey's blood? Be gone! Run to your homes, fall upon your knees, pray to the God to intermit the plague that needs must light on his. In this ingratitude. Okay. What does that mean? Now, but I'm not sure. Yeah. What did he say? He says, uh, "Oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Rome! Didn't you know uh, Pompey? You all knew Pompey. Many a times and often, many times, you had climbed on the walls 
on the battlements, on the towers, on the windows. Sometimes you have even gone on the chimney top with your children in your arms and sat there for a long time just to get a glimpse of Pompeii, just to see Pompeii pass through your city. Uh, and when you saw the chariot, and when you saw his chariot, you all gave a universal cheer. You all shouted his name loudly, so loudly that the river Tiber, that river Tiber also, he says that Tiber trembled underneath its banks. Even the river trembled. You shouted his name so loudly with joy that even the river, Tiber is the name of the river. It trembled because of your shouts. And today, you say people, put your best attire, wear your best clothes, call out a holiday, declare a holiday, take a leave from your work, and you are throwing flowers on the street that comes for the, for who? For the one who has won over, Pompey, for the one, one who has killed the same Pompey. This is, there was a time, jab tum towers pe chadde the, tum roofs pe chadde the, just to get a glimpse of Pompey's chariot. And today when Pompey is dead, this, you are throwing flowers on the street, decorating, wearing fine clothes and coming out and cheering for the person who has killed Pompey. Uh, he says, run to your houses, fall upon your knees, pray to the God to intimate the plague. He says, go, play, pray to the God. You've been such cruel people. You have been such ungrateful people. Go, pray to the God that he does not bring upon any plague. Plague is disease. Uh, you know, the pandemic, epidemic, we all know what it is. So, he does not bring about any disease on this city because you have been such ingratitude for your ingratitude. You have been such ingrateful, ungrateful people. Flavius? So, and for this fault, assemble all the poor men of your sword. sword. Draw them to Tibur Bank and beat your tears into the channel till the lowest stream. You is the most exalted source of horror for He says, Go, go, you countrymen, assemble, call all the people of your, you know, all the poor people of your sort. Tumhare jase, all jo log, usko sabko leke, where do we, where does he ask them to go? Go to the river, Tibur. Go to the bank and what should he, what should they do? They should cry. You go there and cry. So much. How, cry. How much? Cry so much that this river, even the lowest bank of the river will start flooding. And it will start, it will flood basically. It's not okay for the river flood See whether they are Basest metal, metal be not moved. Exudes citizens. That means the citizens exit. Hmm. They vanish tongue-tied in their guiltiness. Go you down that way towards the capital. Capital. This way I will I this road in the villages. So he says, see whether the basis metal be not move. He says that, see, because of our talks, we have asked, we have made these people's, people's spirits move. You know, to move means, they are uh, such humble people and uh, we have tried to uh, make them feel guilty. They are affected. Or rather he's saying, it may easily affect Roja. They were happy that Julius Caesar was, you know, was victorious. They came out to celebrate. Thoda aavash chada ke bol diya. Kya kar rahe ho? 
Even Pompey was good. Instead of celebrating, go cry. And these people were one by one. See, for people, doesn't matter. Whoever is victorious, they clap for them. Both Congress Chief they are very happy. BJP Chief they are very, very happy. Logo ko kuch parak nahi padi. Jo bhi jeetta, we only clap for them. We are here for celebration. Because we know we. Our lives are not going to change much. So therefore, you heard they are trying to show that there we have the Julius Caesar was fighting, Pompey was fighting, people, the people in the Senate who are arguing. Common people were these born. Common people were very, very, uh, what do you say? They say there's a word that they have used that uh, uh, they are very, very fickle. The mob is very, very fickle. Fickle means no strong belief. It's very change. So the mob is very, very fickle. People are fickle people. They will celebrate Jobi Koi, Jobi powerful, usko celebrate kare. Doesn't matter. Balay Caesar ho ya Pompeo. So he says, see how easily these people got affected. Uh, and then they decide that they will go towards the Capitol. Capitol is the House of Senate, the Parliament building, jo hai na, that is called Capitol. Okay, and they decide that he will go this way, the other person will go that way, and what will they do? They will disrobe the images. Which images? Whose images? Caesar's images. You know, because Caesar was victorious, they had like this huge images. You know, na, agar jab bhi koi election jeetta hai, sab jana uske statues lag jate hai, photos lag jate hai, bade bade haar chad jate hai, uske oopar, there are decorations. So these people decide that they will disrobe it. Disrobe it, they will remove all these decorations. Yes, disrobe the images. If you do find them, definitely. Send them. May we do so. You know it is the feast of Lupercal. 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 He says, may we do so. Should we remove all the decorations? You know it is the feast of Lupercal. Uh, one religious festival that they used to celebrate. It is no matter. Let no images. Be hungry, see the trophies. I will above. And drive them, right. drive them away, the vulgar from the streets. So do you to where you perceive them think? These growing feathers plucked from Caesar's wings. Will you make him fly? Will make him? Will make him fly an ordinary pitch. Who else would soar about above the view of men and keep us all in survival? Survival. Fearful. Yes. Okay. So he says that Clavis says does not matter. We will let no images. Be hung with Caesar's trophies. Let's remove all the decoration from Caesar's uh, in Caesar's celebration. I uh, drive away the vulgar. What is vulgar? The common people. The common people are called vulgar. Common ordinary people. Let's drive away this vulgar from the street. And uh, so do you. And I will do it. You also do the same. Wherever you see the crowds. They perceive them thick. Perceive them thick means a large number. Whenever you see the crowd in large number, you need to drive them home. Why? These growing feathers plucked from Caesar's wings. This is, it is like this, we need to curb the enthusiasm of the people. Otherwise, only then he will not fly high. Otherwise, he will fly very high. And if he flies high, he will make all of us slaves. Who he? Caesar. He says, let's curb these people's enthusiasm. Let's curb, cut down the support that people are giving him. Let people not be on the streets. Otherwise, if Caesar comes to know that there are lung, he has such great support from people, he might start flying high. He's already fly. He was already flying high. Now there was no strong opposition for him. Pompey was the biggest leader. He had 
defeated him also. He defeated him in the battle. Now he had no big opposition. He was the only, and he was merely, he was all actually on the way to become being the only popular dominating leader in the Senate. More or less, they were afraid that now he'll become a dictator. So he says, let's make sure that he is, you know, his feathers are plucked. That means, Jada support me, Vilna Ji is so. Let's keep him. Otherwise, he will keep us all in survive pure fullness. Pure fullness. That means he will make us fear. He will make us all his slaves and fear for him all our lives. Okay. That is Act 1, Scene 1. Today, I'll give you questions based on Act 1, Scene 1. And uh, we will also do a few questions from Act 1. Uh, we look Act 1, Scene 2 as well. Not the whole thing, part of it. Because Act 1, Scene 2 is very long. So we cannot finish it in one go. So we will do half today, half next time. Okay. We finished Boku uh, Babu. You know the first poem is done in your school? When do you start with your school? No, now. When do you start? School starts in June 10th. First. Four. You are not in the same school, no? You all are in different schools. Put that. You have your notebooks. So I'll give you a question based on
usually what they do is they give you four or five lines and ask the questions around it so i'll just tell you which questions so now i'll give you the i'll tell you the first line and the last line okay wherefore rejoice got that line Therefore rejoice, what conquest bring he home? Got that line? From there to knew you not Pompey? Got that line? Knew you not Pompey? I think four or five lines below that. Knew you not Pompey? It will be on this line only. What did you get? Did you get wherefore you rejoice? Yeah. And you do not complete four five and zero nine. The remaining now the questions are based on this.
Should we discuss? First question. Who are Clavius and Marullus? Okay. Who are Clavius and Malulus? You can write the answer first and then you can write the other questions. Who are Clavius and Malulus? They are the Trimits. Okay. They are the members of the tribune, T R I B U N E S. They are the members of the tribunes and supporter of maybe Pompey. They were tribunes. The members of the tribune. They were the members of the tribune. Where are they? Okay, they were on. They are. They were on the. Street of Rome. What are they doing there? What are they doing on the streets? Say whatever you think. What, what are they doing? Asking the common people to go home. So they were trying to drive the crowd uh, out of the road and asking the people to move, go back home. Okay. So they were trying to drive the people away. They were trying to drive the people away from the streets and asking them to go home. Driving the people out of the streets and asking them to go home. Who are the idle creatures? Whatever to the you know, common people who are doing nothing but standing on the streets. Okay. Uh, idle creatures. Who are the idle creatures? Idle creatures are the people who are on the streets, who have come to come on the streets to be part of the victory, for, who are on the streets to celebrate Caesar's victory.
idle teachers are the citizens who are on the streets to celebrate the common people you can say not citizens the common people <coughs> Who are on the streets to celebrate Caesar's victory? Why are they called so? Okay, instead of uh, <clears throat> practicing their occupation, instead of practicing their occupation, they had, they were on the roads. Instead of practicing their occupation, They had taken leave from their job. They had taken leave from their job and come on the streets and were roaming on the streets to celebrate Caesar's victory. Instead of practicing their occupation, they were roaming on the streets to celebrate Caesar's victory. Who will give the third answer? Sign of a profession. Give me an example of a sign of a profession. What is the sign of his profession? He wears a leather apron and, and uh, carries his key. That's right. Leather apron and a wooden wool. Is the sign of carpenter. Is a sign is a sign of profession for a carpenter and uh, for a cobbler and all. Okay, that, that's the best one. Leather apron and Wooden rule, leather apron and wooden rule is a sign of profession of a carpenter. What is meant by trade? And I'm going to be fast. You need time to write the answer. What is meant by trade? Occupation. Occupation. And what trade is performed by a second citizen? He was a cop. Trade is means occupation. Put it on silent. Your friend is calling. Your brother. 
is lying down. So you will write these answers on your own and then I'm giving you five minutes. Try the first answer is easy. Second one is also. Will you be able to? Then I'll discuss. I'll ask one more question to one person and now. Who should we start with? <clears throat> Discuss. What are you? Chetan. 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 Sorry. Chetan. Jatin and Jia. Jia. Okay. Jatin, Jia, Aslan, and Abhinita. Jatin, who speaks these lines? Merulus. Okay. These lines are spoken by Merulus. You write the answer in complete sentence. Okay. 
Okay, Jia, to whom are these words addressed? To the common people who are on the streets to celebrate victory of Singapore. First, Caesar's victory. Okay. For this first act one scene, when her general who a line dali is to celebrate Caesar's victory. To celebrate Caesar's victory. Okay. 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 What type of rejoicing is referred to in the extract? Aslan. The victory of Caesar, of Caesar against. Okay, against what type of rejoicing is referred? The victory of Caesar. What type of rejoicing? Sad. Sadness. What? Sad. Are they sad? Uh, they rejoice to not be, uh, not be happy. What to be happy? happy or Okay. What type of rejoicing is referred to in the extract? Uh, the people are on the streets to celebrate Caesar's victory on Pompey. No, 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 Pompey, that's it. People are on the streets to rejoice. Okay. Who is he referred to? Caesar. Caesar. That's right. What is the conquest referred to in the extract? Again, say any answer. What is the conquest? Jatin, what is the conquest referred to? Consi conquest. Consi victory. That's right. What is the conquest referred to? The conquest, uh, the war between, uh, in the war between Caesar and Pompey, uh, Caesar was, or simply right, Caesar conquest over Pompey. What has the conqueror? Why has the conqueror? Should I wait? Do you want to write these answers? something what type of rejoicing people what type of rejoicing uh, people walking on the streets in their fine clothes people walking on the street in their fine clothes declare uh, declaring a holiday to be part of, I'm declaring a holiday to be part of Caesar's to be part of Caesar's victory over Pompey. Abhini, any doubt? Wrote the answer?
What is the conquest referred to? Jesus conquest over conquest. Why has the conqueror not bought any not brought any territory to Rome by his conquest? Because the conquest one was held inside Rome. So what did you say? Both Caesar and Pompey were Romans. No, or were the uh, were the Both Caesar and Pompey belonged to Rome. The war between them was a civil war. Both Caesar and Pompey belonged to Rome. Or Roman leaders, you can say, were both Caesar and Pompey were Roman leaders. The war between them was a civil war. Hence, leaders. Both Caesar and Pompey were Roman leaders. The war between them was a civil war. You can write if you want to describe wherein uh, Romans fought against each other. Wherein Romans fought against each other. Hence, the conqueror did not bring any territory to Rome by his conquest. There the Romans fought against each other. Who are called the cruel men of Rome? The common people who are on the streets celebrating Caesar's victory over Pompey. See, now you'll realize this sentence, Caesar's victory over Pompey, is the answer for many, many questions. Okay? So, just drill this that Act 1, Scene 1 is basically about Caesar's victory over Pompey. Okay, citizens, for many answers, you realize, you must have realized this is the one line that we have written as answer. Okay. So, who are called the cruel men of Rome? The common people who were on the streets to celebrate Caesar's victory over Pompey. Why are they called so? Why are they called cruel men? When Pompey was a ruler, they would when Pompey was a he was not a ruler. He was a commander, but he was a member of the Senate, a leader. People would climb up their houses near the chimney and see his carriage from there and shout out his name. Okay. They did the timber river work. Timber, 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 Timber. Okay. Why are they called cruel men? Were they called cruel men because they were shout? No, they were called because uh, they were not uh, regressing upon the Pompey's vision. Okay. So they were called cruel because they were rejoicing Pompey's death. Okay. So what would we say? How would we feel it? Why are they called cruel men of Rome? They 
So we we'll first say that Pompey was an equally popular leader in Rome, and people would cheer for him, and people would cheer for him, and people would wait to see him and cheer for him. Today, but today people were rejoicing the same Pompey's death. Were on the street to rejoice the same Pompey's death, and therefore they have been ungrateful to since they were ungrateful to Pompey. They are called the Kumbhal men. Can you frame it now? What will you write, Jatin? What will you write? Okay, first line. Pompey was equally popular and powerful equally popular and powerful leader as Caesar. However, after he was killed in the war by Caesar, he was killed in the war by Caesar instead of instead of. Mourning, M O U R I N I N G. Instead of mourning, M O U R N I N G. You know the meaning of mourn, right? To feel sad. Instead of mourning for his death, the common people were on streets. To rejoice Caesar's victory, Caesar's victory over him. For the fickle and ungrateful nature, for the fickle and F I C K L E for the fickle and ungrateful nature of the people, they are called the cruel men of Rome. Okay. Whose chariot was seen? Pompey. And uh, what is meant by the universal shout? 
We gave universal shout. So what is the meaning of universal shout? Sorry. What is? Say. To all call out his name as one. To call out his name as one. Have they given the meaning of universal shout? Okay, shouted at once. Universal shout. What is meant by universal shout? To shout at once. Okay. Uh, what happened as a consequence? What happened as a consequence of the shout? Okay, even the river river trembled as a result of the shout. So write this one question. What is meant by universal shout? What is meant by universal shout? Write the meaning, universal shout and the vulgar. Just sometimes they ask the question, write the meaning. Universal shout and the other is the vulgar. What is universal shout? What is the meaning of universal shout? Shout or at once. Okay, to shout at once. Shout at once. And what is vulgar? The common people. The crowd of common people. The crowd of common people. Common people will also be less the common people. I'll ask you a few uh, questions orally. Okay. It is like multiple choice question. Usually, here you have first 10 multiple choice questions and then you have such short, short combination. What is the rule that Marinus refers to? What is the rule that Marinus refers to? See now. The final. What is the rule that Marilus refers to in the first few lines? He says, no, where is your rule? Occupation. What is, he says, carpenters. He says, where is your leather apron and your rule? So what is that rule? Wooden, wooden ruler. That's right. Carpenters, wooden ruler. See, they have that long ruler. That rule means your carpenter's foot rule. Uh, what reason does the cobbler give Flavius? What sarcastic reason does the cobbler give Flavius for leading citizens on the street? Okay, to wear out their shoes. To wear out their shoes. That's right. What does the cobbler say to show that he is a master craftsman? And all the people who are popular wear shoes. Work. He refers himself. What does he refer himself? To show, to show that he was a master craftsman. What does he say? He will say he is a 
Oh, he practices with take conscience. You know what is the meaning of conscience? Conscience is presence of mind. No, conscience is uh, when you the power that tells you what is right and wrong. See, we all have the conscience. We must all follow our own conscience. Me, there is always that voice which tells you what is right and what is wrong. It's called conscience. But then here the question is, what does he refer to himself? To show he's a master craftsman. What is he called? Mender of souls. Mender of souls or surgeon of old shoes. He says, no, I'm a surgeon. I'm a doctor of old shoes. So he, that means that he is referring to why, why according to Marilis, would there be a plague? They were because I'll, I'll give you the option because the crowding of the streets because there was a crowding of the streets because of the ingratitude of citizens because of the hollow banks of timber because the followers the flu the flowers were thrown on the road because you say that in gratitude of the people. Gratitude of the What quality of the common man is reflected in this scene? Admiration for Caesar, hatred for Caesar, fickleness, fearness, fear for Caesar. Fickleness. This first act one, scene one is all about the nature of common people. Okay? We have 15 minutes to move. No? Good Samja. First act. After I come back, I'll ask her what you understood. You have to tell me the story of the first act one, scene one. Each one of you. Thank you. 